welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to do a video on Oni Drugstore brand. And actually this is gonna help me do my review on the products that I did buy the other day from Ulta and Walmart. So yeah, this is the look that we're going for today using Oni Drugstore products. If you are new to my channel, Hi, I'm Cheska MUA and thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed my videos, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and hit that notification button so you do get alert when I am uploading my videos, which will be every Wednesday and Friday. Yeah, and let's get straight into this makeup tutorial. See you guys in the next video. So, okay, the first product, drugstore product that I'm going to be using is the LA Girl Prep Pro Prep HD High Definition Smoothing Face Primer. It looks like that. I'm just gonna put a small amount. Then I'm going to be using my LA Girl Pro Coverage HD High Definition Longwear Illuminating Foundation. Jesus, that is a mouthful. It looks like this. And all these products, most of these products are from my last video from my haul, Ulta haul. So I'm gonna be using them today. With a beauty blender first, beforehand. Oh my God, I almost forgot. I'm gonna be using the LA Girl Pro Concealer HD High Definition and it's the color corrector one. I'ma cover them blemishes. foundation and this one is I'm going in with two colors it's going to be the nude nude beige and warm beige beige So now I'm gonna go in with my LA Girl Pro Concealer HD. Put that under my eyes. So what you're basically doing with concealer, any light concealer, this is way lighter for my skin, but we're gonna make it work, ain't no thing. You want to highlight the high points of your face, basically where the light hits. So it's gonna be under your eyes, on your nose, Cupid's bow, chin, forehead. Now I'm going to go in with my LA Girl Pro Concealer HD High Definition, the um, contour. It, this one is in Toast. And you're going to do the complete opposite. When it comes to conceal, you're going to highlight where basically that light hits, now you're gonna make a shadow. setting spray from Allegra as well. Shake that. Let me shake it. And blend it in. So now when you have that all blended, you want to set everything. So I'm going to be setting with my Aerospun loose face powder. Looks like that. And I'm gonna grab it directly with my beauty blender and I'll set that face. Once you're done setting, 
I am going to contour a little bit. And I'm going to just contour with my um, LA my LA Girl Pro Face um, press powder, and the matte one. And this one is in True Bronze. is a Sephora brush. This is a setting powder. So now I'm going to go in with highlighting, basically removing all that product, that loose powder that I had with another pressed powder from LA Girl Pro Face HD Definition Matte Press Powder. And this one is in Creamy Neutral. I'm going to be using two of these, Creamy Neutral and Buff. And they look like that. I'm going to be using buff down here and then I'm going to be using creamy neutral under my eyes. And then I'm going to be using the e.l.f. The e.l.f. foundation blur and brush looks like that. Some product. And then with this, I'm just going to take off the excess powder that I have. I'm gonna take buff. I'm just gonna clean up right there. Then I'm gonna take that creamy neutral, the one that I just used. Actually, no, I'm gonna take the buff. I'm gonna take the buff. And then I'm just gonna kind of Press it on top of that contour so it's, it's not such a harsh line. Now I'm going to take a blush and this is, I'm going to take two blushes from e.l.f. This one is Twinkle Pink and it looks like this. And then let me open it so you can see it. It's a pretty little, pretty color. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of this pink passion. Looks like that too. It's more of a t an intense pink. Just gonna take a little bit of that one too. And I'm gonna be using a wet and wild brush for that. So I'm gonna take up a little bit of that twinkle pink that pink passion one that I showed you I'm just I'm focusing this one more on the apple of my cheeks now we're gonna highlight and I'm actually going to take wet and wild mega glow highlighter powder and this one color is it I don't even know it says mega glow but it doesn't say what color it's a mega glow I guess looks like that and then I'm just gonna highlight I'm actually going to use the set and spray again now ladies this is a set and spray it's to set your makeup don't use a water bottle brows uh, off a of camera because I just uploaded a video the other day on how I do my brows so I just did them off a of camera now we're just we're just oh and I used that same kit just in case you guys were wondering now we're gonna go straight into the eyes I don't know what I'm doing but I'm going to be using the hard candy palette that I showed in my in my last haul looks like that I don't know what look I'm going for. I'm just gonna wing it. I'm gonna use a little bit of the concealer that I do have on my hand and I'm just gonna use it as a base. the 
lighter colors. I'm gonna show you on the top of that palette just as a, a base. Well, not a base, actually, it's to set. To set my concealer and everything like that. So now I'm gonna use this taupe color that's in the middle. Let me put my mirror down. These two colors right here, right here. I'm gonna be using them as transition colors basically on my lid. So that basically means that I am gonna use that color so the darker colors that I apply on top of them blend nicely. I'm gonna be using a fluffy brush. Looks like this. And I got it at Target. I think I've told you guys a couple of times that. And now you've got yourself something funky. I'm just putting that in the crease. What I'm doing right now, I don't know. I don't know what look I'm going for. I'm just going with it. So now that I put that color down, I'm just going to add darker colors on top of it. And then I'm, I think I'm just going to go, I'm just going to go back and forth with this bottom row right here. I'm gonna go in between this black one, this kind of plum color, and this purple color right here. I'm gonna go back and forth with those colors. Now let's see what we get. I'm gonna be using a Wet n Wild crease brush. Looks like that. And I'm just gonna be adding those colors. So I'm going in with that plum color first. take a highlight color and I'm gonna get uh, take a highlight color that was um, that's in my my brow kit I'm just gonna grab that same highlight color with just an eyeshadow brush if I can find one right here just a wet and wild and then I'm just gonna put that and highlight my brow bone I just want to put it on the lid so I'm going to take a eyeliner pencil just so the eyeshadow can grip on something I'm going to use that I can find it. and it's gonna be a red one so I'm gonna be using this it's actually for lips, but it don't matter. I'm putting them on my eyes. And it's for it's from Jordana and I got this at Walgreens. I'm just gonna put that right here. I'm just gonna blend it out with a brush. And I'm gonna put with a smaller detailed brush. I'm putting that that red, that burgundy brick color, just right on top of that. So now I'm just adding a little bit of highlighter to the beginning of my eye. And then just going back with the same colors, the browns, the reds, just to blend it, blend it nicely. And the black, because I did use a black. So once you have it 
to your desired blend and how you think it came out. I mean, basically, if it's blended out the way you like it, then you're going to go straight into eyeliner. And I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. We're going to pray to the eyeliner gods and make sure that this goes good. some uh, mascara we're gonna go in with the LA girl double D mascara and in intensive black I think it is so I did put on my lashes and these are the Ardell ones that I was telling you about so right now I don't know if I want to go with a bold lip or I just want to keep it simple with a lighter color see I'm all about intense but I think I'm going to go with a more settled lip. Yeah, I think I am. So I'm going to use this NYX Suede Lip Pencil. And this is in the color Stockholm. 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 I'm going to use this. Actually, I'm going to use a beauty blender to take off that excess Pradas, pra, Pradas, product that I do have on my lips. This is the what yeah the wet and wild mega mega last liquid cat suit and it looks like that and this is in the color coral corruption oh girl you better corrupt it That's what that looks like now that my lash glue and my lashes are set I'm gonna put mascara on the bottom of my lashes and then I think we should be done I didn't like how the coral, that coral corruption from Wet n Wild sat by itself on my lips. So I did add a little bit of this lingerie NYX. And this one I think is in Seduction. And I just put it on top. So this is the final look. Using all drugstore brand products. And you can definitely get a flawless finish with using drugstore.